Tesla has made a name for itself with its unique range of electric-powered vehicles, coupled with their cutting-edge technology and innovations seen in their products. But many have wondered, how did a company in just 20 years of existence become the world's most valuable automaker? To know the answer, you have to look at the architect of it all, Elon Musk. Now known as a technology visionary and one of the richest men in the world, things weren't always this way for the business magnate. You see, Elon's parents divorced when he was only eight, and he had to grow up in a broken home where he was frequently abused by his dad. School wasn't any better, as he had few friends and was bullied on many occasions. At a point, he even contemplated taking his own life at age 12. After college, Elon found himself with over $100,000 in student debt. Even Tesla was facing bankruptcy just two years after he joined the company. Now under his watch, Tesla has become the world's most valuable automaker, setting the standard for others to follow. But just like Rome wasn't built in a day, Tesla wasn't either. It would take years before Elon and Tesla would get to where they are today. And this is the story we'll be diving into today. This is a story of determination, hard work and excellence. This is the story of how an abused and bullied child built one of the world's largest companies. It goes without saying that without Elon Musk, there would be no Tesla. So to know how Tesla skyrocketed over popular brands like Toyota, Volkswagen, Ford and others to become the most valuable auto manufacturer on the planet, you first need to know about its founder. The story begins in the 1970s in South Africa, in Pretoria, where two people by the names of Errol Musk and May Haldeman began dating. The couple had attended high school together. Errol, born in South Africa, was an engineer, and May, a Canadian, was a model. They made the almost impulsive decision to get married because they were both bored and lonely, which isn't usually the best reason to get married. And it would prove to be a wrong decision later on. In May's words, Well, you know, I was lonely, alone in Cape Town. I wasn't in a happy situation, and I thought, well, what can be worse? Marriage can't be that bad. 